Hey guys, what is up? It is Mackenzie Gorbrick. Welcome back to the pack, and today, um, since I said that I was gonna make a Mythical Worlds book review on the Mythical's Guidebook, this is gonna be the full video of me going over everything in the Mythical's Guidebook, basically. So as you guys already probably seen in the video, here was an introduction to my character, Shiria, in the Mythical's, um, and my boyfriend, Xavier, in the Mythical's. I mean, well, he's, I mean, I don't really have a real boyfriend, but, um... When you are a, a leader of a group in the Mythicals, you have to have a significant other to be the other leader in your group. So on this introduction page, it reads, Dear Diary, this is the Diary of the Mythicals. I'll show you. I'm Shiria, and I'll show you everything about the Mythicals. I have no idea why you repeated it twice, but yeah. So here is my character, Shiria. This was her beta design for this book. And then, um, if you guys already seen my universal art book, I probably have not shown you guys this yet, but it will be a official book of all the current designs and permanent designs of all of my different characters from each of the mythical worlds I've created. And you guys already probably seen Xavier in there. This is also his beta design. Again, I will, um, make his official design in the universal art book. So now I will be showing you guys the 10 original badges of um, the Mythicals because I already added like 6 more later on. So there's currently 16 groups. But these are the 10 current badges I had when I first made this book. So right here are the Cadlons. And sorry for this mistake right here. The original intention for these was I was going to draw the badge and then the two leaders of each group on one page. But then I was trying to draw Milo, the male leader of the Catalans, but then I ended up, um, making a mistake on his eyes, so I, and they were in gel pen, too, so I had to just scribble it all out, basically. So here's, like, a brief description of the Catalans. Catalans are really nice and won't attack unless of need, and their attack weapons are claws and their teeth. And here is the Otterots badge, and then their description reads, Otterots are good swimmers and will attack if needed. Wep their weapons are stones, basically. So, of where I got the inspiration for their weapons being stones is because that otters, like, since they like to eat snails or clams, they like to crush their shells with stones and then like to eat their insides, basically. And the next one here is the vampires. If you guys may or may not know, um, since that Dagon is basically in every single world that I've created, she is the female leader of the vampires and her name is Alexa. So, the, the description for the vampires is, Vampires are mostly mean and will attack any aggressors. Their eyes change color based on their blood level. So, basically, though, based on how much blood they consume, their eyes will either get, like, dimmer with red, or it'll become, like, pinkish and then to white if they're dying, or they'll get more darker once they become, like, bloodthirsty, or if they're, like, full of blood, or, like, something like that. And then their weapons are fangs, claws, and spikes. Of where I got the spikes from is because that, um... Werewolves and vampires, we like to wear spike bracelets or spike chokers to try and protect ourselves from any aggressors. And right here is the spirits. So the spirits only scare non-believers, so they, like, prove to, like, people who are, like, skeptical about ghosts is that they try to scare them to, um, like, prove to them that they're real. And then they are the ghosts of the dead mythicals. So, like, whenever a group... Or, like, whenever someone in a group of in the Mythicals dies, they become a spirit. And basically, though, their weapons are just scaring. They're, that's basically their attack method. And then here is the dragon's badge. Um, sorry if they kind of, like, look weird. I was trying to draw a dragon's horns, but then they ended up just looking like little worms. But anyways, though, the description of the dragons is dragons have the four elements. So they have the power of the four elements, which is earth, wind, fire, and air. Or, wait, no, earth water, fire, and air, I'm sorry, but, um, but uh, they also have the sub-elements, which are, like, wood, metal, stuff like that, and also, they are rivals with the unicorns, so, like, the unicorns are, like, right here, they, um, they're basically also rivals with the dragons as well, because, like, they, so, like, as I explained in, um, the fun facts section of my Wolflandia guidebook, I read that um, the dragon wolves and the unicorn wolves were rivals, only when they're battling for Wolflandia, then they become allies. So the dragon's weapons are their elemental powers, like I said before in the description, and their horns and claws. Maybe even the wings. And I already showed you guys the unicorn's badge, so I don't have to show you, to, 
show you it again. So the unicorns are really nice, but they only attack anything that scares them. And their weapons are horns, like are their horns, and then their sparkle powers. Which, um, I should probably change that. I don't know what I should call it though. So guys, like if you want to, comment down below what I should rename their powers. And then here are the mermaids, and um, mermaids are the best swimmers and are very docile. Their weapons are sharp scales and their shells. So their, their scales are not really as sharp, but like when they fall off, they like to sharpen them and use them as weapons. So for example, if like a, um, so if a scale falls off a mermaid or like a merman, they, um, they sharpen up the scales and they tie them to pieces of driftwood or like pieces of wood to um make spears and they also sharpen up the shells as i said before and here are the minotaurs and minotaurs only attack if scared and most of them speak spanish and english so um their weapons are their horns basically so i'm trying to figure out if i can use like their hooves like when they transform into a bull so they can trample their enemies so guys comment down below if you guys want me to add this to the book and here are the griffins and um griffins really like shiny stuff if you give them a coin they will leave you alone so basically though like you don't have to give them a coin specifically but like anything shiny so if you want a griffin to stop bothering you you have to give them a shiny item and then they'll leave you alone and then their weapons are talons and beaks. So if you guys don't know, griffins are basically kind of like eagle-like creatures. But griffins are basically a combination of a lion and an, e and an eagle. And finally, here are the werewolves, which is my group. So they are as mean as vampires. They attack only, or they attack anyone who makes them mad. And their eyes change color based on, like, their mood. And our weapons are our claws, teeth, and spikes, basically. Like, as I explained before... In the vampires section, we also have like spike bracelets and collars. Also here, I showed a brief description of what the mythicals are and my life with Xavier. So basically though, the mythicals are groups of mythical creatures. There are 10 groups. Well, basically though, that there are more groups now, but then I just put um 10 groups because I did not think about adding any of them later on. Anyways, though, like, werewolves were the first group of the mythicals. So when the mythicals were first grouped together, the werewolves was the first group ever made. And then came the vampires and so on and so forth. So now I'm going to tell you about my life with Xavier. Me and Xavier met at a party. We have been together ever since. Every time when Xavier calls me cute, it just blush. I don't I have no idea why I did that. I was just, like, fangirling over my own character. And, um, Xavier's favorite food is blueberries, my favorite food is strawberries. Our first date was for breakfast, since that, like, we, um, since that one cool thing about, like, werewolves and va vampires and the mythicals is that we can hide our, like, attributes or, like, our different body parts that, like, that makes us different from humans is that, like, we can hide our tails, we can hide our ears and all that. So basically, though, that we can blend in with humans easy enough and then we can just go out into the human world. So while we were on our first date, he got blueberry pancakes, and I got pancakes with strawberry syrup, whipped cream with strawberries on top. And I just put Xavier as the best boyfriend, P.S. Don't mind if I write about him too much, and I barely even wrote about him for the rest of the book. And also here we have our child, her name is Felicity. Okay, so I put Xavier and I have a child, her name is Felicity, here she is, more on our family later. So as I, as I put later in the book, um, I put like members of me and Xavier's families together, and I made like a little family photo album of everybody. And here are all some facts about the mythicals. So, um, the mythicals' favorite food. So vampires like blood, werewolves like blood and berries, or like any kind of meat. And then dragons like snakes, spirits are nothing. Like, like nothing because they're dead. Well, they can't eat anything. And the unicorns like grass and sparkle dust. Griffins like small rodents. So basically like mice, shrews, rabbits. And then mermaids like tuna. Catalans like tuna and berries. And then minotaurs like grass and herbs. And the otterods eat snails and clams. And then the leaders of the mythicals. So the vampires is um, Alexa, of course. Well, Dan's character in the mythicals and her husband, Chad. And the werewolves, of course, is me and Xavier. And um, the dragons is Leo, which is my cousin Logan, and his girl Scarlet. And the spirits are Zovo and Rhea. The unicorns are Starla and Kai. 
The Otterots have Aqua and Shelly. The Minotaurs have El Toro and La Catrina. The Catalans have Milo and Nala. Um, the Mermaids have Carmen and Tyler. And the Griffins have Devin and Carrie. And of where the Mythicals live in, like, in, like, the different mythical world that they live in. Um, werewolves live in the eastern woodlands. Vampires live in the western. And, um, Otterots live in the live at the otter pond um mermaids live in mermaid lake minotaurs live in the sandy desert unicorns the enchanted forest spirits live in the forbidden graveyard griffins live in the western mountains and dragons live in the eastern and kylons live at the uh, eastern end of the forest so it's like northwest of um the eastern woodlands Also, with the unicorn eye colors, um, we have, like, like just, like, rainbow colors, and they can transform into any colors of the rainbow. And here we get into the new groups. Um, so, hold on. So, Dear Diary, I just added a new group. They are the Tigerites. Let me introduce them to you. So, here's the Tigerites logo. They're basically, like, a circle with, like, tiger stripes through them. So, they are one of the ancestors of the Cadlons. So, the Cadlons descended from the Tigerites. And they live in the wet rainforest and like to eat meat. They do not like leopards or panthers. They are friends with the griffins. Their leaders are Stripes and Tigra. So Stripes is the male leader and Tigra is the female leader. And then their weapons are claws and teeth. And here's me introducing another group. So Dear Diary, I had decided to create another group. My high school's mascot are panthers because I go to... Um, I'm not going to say the school, but, um, some schools, like, have panthers as their, um, mascot, so I will introduce the pantherites, and here is their logo, which is the big panther paw, so here's some facts about them, their diet is rabbits, their leaders are ace and eclipse, ace is the male, eclipse is the female, and their location is the wet rainforest, and, um, their weaknesses are the tigerites. They are also one of the ancestors of the Cadlons, and their weapons are claws and teeth. Also, one thing before I move on, um, as I'm, like, reading these, um, as I'm reading these groups off, they're basically, um, so basically, though, the Mythicals are, like, a group of mythical creatures who are kind of, like, half human, half the animal that their group is based on, and they can turn into the animal that their group is based on. So, for example, like I said with the pantherites, um, they're like half human, half panther. They have like panther ears and a panther tail, and they can transform into a panther. And here are the Mouseketeers, and um, their diet is cheese. Their leaders are Squeaks and Miley, Squeaks male, Miley female. And their location, the Mideast, the Mideast Woodlands. So, they're kind of like in the middle of the Eastern Woodlands, basically. And... Um, their weakness are the Catalans because the Catalans can hunt them because they're bas they're basically like the size of a toddler, basically. And they are scared of anything, but they bite really hard. They can hear up to a five-mile radius, and their weapons are their teeth. And here are the rabbit ears, and um, their facts. Their diet is grass. Their leaders are Thumper Vanny, Thumper Male, Vanny Female. Um, their location is the eastern woodlands, so they live with the werewolves, but we don't hunt them. And the weakness are the pantherites. So the pantherites like to um, hunt them. And they can hop up to 10 feet in the air. They are also really good at hiding from the pantherites. So um, there is a very rare time where a pantherite could actually kill a rabbitier. And um, their weapons are teeth and their feet. So they can kick them. And here are the members of me and Xavier's family. As you can see, we don't have many because there was a huge war in the mythicals where all of our family was killed. But only a few of our members of our family survived. So in my family, my mom's name is Ruby. Um, of course, we have me, Alia, my sister. And um, Kyla is my dad. And Felicity is my daughter. And Marisa is my niece. So she's actually... Okay, so um, my niece, Izzy, she's actually my niece in real life. And um, I asked her if she wanted to be in the Mythicals. And she said yes. And um, I made her my niece in the Mythicals. So she's basically Alia's daughter. And in Xavier's family, of course, we have Xavier and Cody, his little brother. And here's our family photo album. Here's Cody right here. Here's Kyle, my dad, my niece, Marisa, 
me and Alia when we were babies. And um, here's Ruby, my mom. So basically, though, she was blessed by the unicorns um, during the war to turn into a kitsune so that she has the power to um, basically destroy all of the myth goals. But she chooses not to. She just used um, the power to fight. But then she ended up dying in the process. And finally, the last thing in the book, the newest group, the Eagleors. So their um so their diet are worms, their leaders are Pilot and Jazzy. Of course, Pilot being male and Jazzy being female because of the names. And the location is the Windy Skyline. So they basically like kinda like they're basically kinda like um nomads. They kinda like like go and live in different places. Again, sorry if I'm stuttering because, like, I'm trying to get through this book because this video is already 15 minutes long and I'm not trying to make it too long. So, basically, though, that they just move from nest to nest um, up in, like, the highest trees in the forest so that they basically just live in the skies. And their weaknesses are lightning. So, basically, though, that they are really good flyers and they are descendants of the griffins. So, basically, though, that they are, like, descendants from the griffins and then the griffins are the ancestors of the eaglors. And finally, their weapons are their beaks, the talents, and the wings. So they basically can, like, wing slap them. And yeah, that was basically the whole book. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this book review of me going over the entire Mythicals guidebook. If you guys want me to, I can make more because I have the Mythicals Diary, which was the second Mythicals guidebook that I made. I mean, well, it's not really a guidebook, it's basically a diary. And here I have the Aquamals guidebook. So if you guys want me to... I can make more videos on this series about me reviewing these books. And once I have enough time to finish these, I will be working on my spell book as, um, for like the time being. And I will soon do a review on all the spells in there. And sooner or later, I will be reviewing my entire Universal Art book. I barely have made any of the characters in it, so that would have to be like months later so hopefully though that once i do finish this book i can review everything maybe during the live stream but maybe just like recording the video but yeah that's basically it for right now so if you guys really like me um doing these reviews on all my mythical worlds and all these books that i've made maybe consider liking the video or making or and if you want to see more videos like these because i have like a couple more books left to go maybe consider subscribing to my channel and yeah that's pretty much it so, guys, make sure to like, subscribe, join the pack. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace out, wolves. Arr!